The Coriolis force is in effect caused by the Earth's rotation. As the Earth spins, it causes moving air and water to curve rather than traveling in a straight line. This curving effect is what we call Coriolis force. In the Northern Hemisphere, the Coriolis force deflects moving air to the right. So if air is moving from the equator towards the pole, it will start curving to the right. This is why winds blow from the west to east in much of this hemisphere, forming what we call the westerlies. In the southern hemisphere, the Coriolis force deflects air to the left. This causes wind patterns to curve the opposite way, leading to different prevailing wind directions. Pilots need to account for these Coriolis effects when planning long flights, especially those that cross large regions, to ensure that they stay on course. The Coriolis force plays a big role in the formation of weather systems like cyclones and trade winds. Understanding these patterns helps pilots anticipate wind conditions and weather changes. At higher altitudes, such as in jet streams, the Coriolis force causes winds to flow rapidly from west to east. Pilots can use these winds to their advantage, flying faster with a tailwind or avoiding strong headwinds. So the next time you're up in the air, remember that the Coriolis force is generally curving those winds, guiding your journey across the globe. All right, folks, if you've made it this far without dozing off, very impressive. Tip of the cap. Now that you're officially a helicopter nerd like me, why not take the next step? Check out my online helicopter ground school at 3gheliprep.com. Trust me, it'll only get more exciting from here, or at least more useful.